Hi Jeff, hope you're okay. This is a quick video for you, mate. How to uh, have, have a look at your tower, the Infinity Tower. All right. That basically represents the base of it. I, I don't actually, that, to be honest, I don't think it's actually that shape. It's not a square shape. But anyway, that's we can, that can always be done, at, you know, another time. I'm just showing you a basic, simple way to do it. Well, it's not too simple actually, but I'll, I'm sure you'll follow it if you, if you just listen to what I'm saying. Okay. So that sort of represents the height of the for, of a floor, let's say. Okay, right. What I need to do is I want to um, I'm going to select the top face like so. Yeah, um, I'm then going to get my rotate tool. I'm going to pop it on the centre there, pop it there, left click, and then I'm going to drag it a bit. You see, like that? I can drag it like that and distort it. I can click left click anywhere. Yeah, and then I'm going to put uh, two degrees and it'll go back to two degrees it is now two degrees okay now I've got that I'm quite happy with that so I actually don't need all this stuff uh, above now it's not required I don't need that I don't need that um, I don't need that I don't need that I don't need that right and I don't need that and I don't need that that's got rid of that gone Okay, I don't need that either. <laughs> now I'm happy with that. Um, I'm, I'm now going to select, with my select tool, the two uprights, like so. Okay, then I'm going to get my rotate tool, bang it on the centre, bring it out, left click, and then I'm going to basically pull a copy out. So there's my copy there, look. Then I'll left, uh, left click again, then I'm going to put two degrees in, or just two, and then enter, and it'll go back to two degrees. When that's okay without pressing else, because it, the whole side goes around 90 degrees, I've gone two degrees, so half a 90 is 45. So I want 45, X, then press enter, and that should give me an array of 45. There you go, bingo, right? Now, now that we're happy with that, um, I'm then going to get my uh, select tool again, come across the top like so. It now selects all them blue, all them blue little blue uprights, right? Um, I then get my move tool, go to the second one in from this end here at the bottom, uh, left click, then press Control. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. And then that should that should actually if you put it on the on the up arrow, it will go up on the vertical axis and should lock cock on on that on that point there. Yeah. When I've done that, because I'm going to go up, I've got to go around 45 times, so that means I need to go up 45 45 floors. Then I'll press 45 times enter, and if I zoom back in theory, now I should have a massive tower. Which is what I've got. Can you see that tower there? So I bet this is sounding a bit complicated, isn't it, mate? Anyway, <clears throat> now you have. Now we're happy with that, right? I've got my centre, so I can actually get rid of that now because I don't need it. I don't need that, and I don't need that. Now, if I then get the select tool and select that there, it should, in theory, it doesn't always, to be honest. But it should be. <laughs> Let's just try it. Right, it should give me a, a loop. Okay. In fact, I'm going to select the centre as well because I want to take that with me. Now I've got that centre. Right, I'm going to grab my move tool. Well, oh, she's playing effectively. Right, I'm just going to pull that out. Like so. Okay, that's with my centre. Right now, I don't, I don't actually need all, all of this now, so I might as well just get rid of it. Hang on, let me just uh, probably best to come down on it really. Okay, let's just erase that. That'll quiet my computer down a bit. Okay, then I just need to draw across there, like so. Okay, and then. 
I'm now going to make that. I've selected it all, and I'm going to make that a component. Right, so I'm going to right click, make component. Uh, make sure tick replace selection is with the component is is ticked, and then I'm going to create it. Right, now I've created it. I've got the blue frame around it. I'm then going to get me rotate tool, like so. Let's just um, tell you what, I'll just zoom in a bit extent there. Right, that's better. Right, on the centre, like so. Come round to my copy because it's actually there. I want to get to there, right? Then I'll gonna left click, then press Control, and pull the copy out like so. And that locks to that one, yeah. And then I'm gonna put three times Enter, and that'll take them all the way around then, right? Now that we're happy with that, and what I need to do now is go into the editing editing mode of one of those components. So let's just do this one. There we go. It's now selected them all. Now this is where the clever bit comes in now. Let me just get this in the right position. Right. Okay. Now if you can just sort of see that, I hope you can. Right. If I, this is this is called the soap skin and bubble, right? And it's uh, a really good plugin and uh, there's a the little icon there. Anyway, you can download this, and it, uh, it's on it's on one of the links on one of my things. Yeah, I'll press skin, and it skins it. I'm then going to put I don't know I'm going to put 30 in there, and then enter, and then enter, and then off it goes. And you watch this now. You watch this tower fall before your very eyes. It's a great it's a great plugin. It is. Because it's actually only doing it to one, because they're all components. And I think that's what you're trying to achieve, is it not? Yeah? So I hope that helps you, right? Uh, you can obviously, um, you, you can get rid of all the, uh, get rid of all the, um, you know, the lines and stuff by just softening it whenever you want to do that. Okay? But that sort of, I hope that helps you. Now, but the best way really would be to do it is to do it. In small sections, really, right? And what I have done, I did one earlier, which I've just hidden, but I'll bring it back down because I've got it on a layer, uh, on layer one. There you go, right? So what I've actually done is that you know when I first started it and I and I I, I did my my first piece there. What you would do is you do the soap and skin bubble just on that on that. On, let me just actually take that off there a second. Let's just get it onto uh, onto that. Right, yeah. So when, I, when I've got that and that, I would just do the soap and skin on just that one edge there and create just one floor and then copy those. Uh, uh, this is, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got a, a whole group, all four of them sides are a group, and then within that, each, each side then is individual. Yeah? You see what I'm saying? So then what you would do is you'd gra grab, the whole, grab the whole group and then just lift them on top of each other. And then you'd have to first of all pull them on top of each other and then rotate them round. And if you if you if you notice if I go up to the, a bit higher for you, I've done a bit there, but can you see how long that they would need then if I will just quickly show you love. Oh that's actually been done I think, yeah. That that would have to be just moved uh, in a certain way and moved in the in the right position, yeah. Like so. Let me get the move tool. My mouse is playing up right. Yeah, and then I would. Oh, sorry, I've, I've doubled it by accident there. But anyway, that's the gist of it. Look, you just bang it on there. Once you've got that like that, and then you would rotate them round. But of course, as you do it, you need to do them all a bit more, two more degrees each time. But you'll find if you've done a block of about four, you can just pull four straight up, and then just pull the whole four across. So it's a lot quicker. Okay. But that's your gist set, and then I'll just put a bit of a text on it, just a bit of a laugh. It's not actually perfect. Another thing that you can do as well, which is really good, right, is if if you um, you can hide them. So you see those the, the, the lines there, those lines. If we go into the editing mode of that. You can you can you can sort of if you hide the line, um, right click and hide. 
it, it, what it does, I've just, sorry, I've just, I've hidden the whole face, but anyway, it doesn't matter. You, if you just hide the top and bottom line, then you'll just get one lovely smooth surface. Okay? Well, anyway, I hope that sort of uh, makes any sense to you whatsoever, mate. I hope it does. And, uh, and if you have any problems, obviously, uh, get back to us. Okay, mate? Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.